And yeah, I think that this is just looking, I'm just going to stop the render. I think this is looking a little like this key is just a little bit out of control, uh, just a little bit bright here. So I'm going to go find that key light and let's do the look through light trick. So let's go at our camera on, on our camera, no cam menu, menu up here. I'm going to select look through light key and I'm going to lock this down and kind of come off to the side, maybe a little bit more here. Um, just kind of reposition and then I'm going to actually uh, decrease the spread here. So let's bring that spread down to something like point, um, let's say point three, point three three ish and um, render, uh, fire off another render. And then I'm probably going to have to reduce the intensity of this uh, render just because uh, usually when you decrease the spread, the intensity of the light seems to go up. Yeah, so you can see that gets a lot hotter. I'm just going to come up here and bring the intensity down to a value of 10. And that seems like it helps the scene maintain a little bit more uh, drama. Might just, I'm going to reduce the uh, scaling just so I can get a little bit quicker feedback here. So let's bring the scaling back to 50% and then zoom back into 100% and render again. Um, this is starting to feel like it's getting there, but these flowers and these airbags need uh, a little bit of love, it looks like. They're, these airbags have gotten a little bit dark, and these flowers feel a little bit dark as well. I'm going to um, unlock my uh, view right here, and let's on this left-hand view, I'm just going to jump out and kind of see where my uh, key is for our object here. Um, let's just, I'm going to maybe region render uh, this section right here. And uh, let's just turn that on. I'm going to scoot this uh, light in maybe a little bit and see if it kind of helps pop this a little bit more. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of the wrinkles that I like over here. So let's just jump back into that uh, key light like so and just, uh, whoops, I'm going to jump into the key light. I forgot to hit the lock button. I'm just going to lock it and just come around a little bit more to just illuminate more of the um, front of this, these airbags right here, just so I can see if I can get some more, uh, uh, some more drama on the wrinkles right here. It's just region render around there a little bit better. Maybe I come around this way a little bit. There, it's starting to see some more of those wrinkles. That's good. I'll center that more like so. How'd that affect the rest of the scene? Still feels like it, it, it. I reduced the amount of drama over here, so I'm just gonna come back some more because I really do like having this nice shadow here. So I really kind of want to make sure that this shadow in this vortex is really what's what's prominent there. And I might just need to switch up the material on this to get uh, this to look a little bit nicer. 